Gonna be repeating. Uh oh. Whoopsie, I had stream pre uh, up on the, my own end, so it was repeating the audio. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. Oh, well, it's probably gonna be a shorter one. Definitely gonna get the switch stands done. That's my plan. And then go from there. Um, I did I did do a little bit um, off camera not much I uh, we only have this train right now and I threw in the generic rose scale scripts on it so we can at least drive the train now it's definitely not going to be what the game's going to have but trains can be moved around but the problem is the switches can't be thrown um the only progress I was just uh, the only progress the only thing I've done off camera is um, I've added this police car, which is just temporary, anyways, that I found for driving around. And we have auto rack train, and I added the row scale system to it. It's just generic, straight out of the uh, toolbox from the official sets row scale, but you can drive trains now. And there's another train sitting down at the yard, so uh, we're gonna make switch stands and stuff. Um, yeah, let's get in here. I'm pretty sure that's all I've done off camera, so. Let's go ahead and... I haven't decided on signals, but I... I don't know yet. We'll figure that out. Let me pull up a picture of a switch and, um, switch. No, it pulls up Nintendo Switch, oh, of course. Uh, railroad Switch stand, please. Don't care about Nintendo. Oh yeah, that's the good point. I'm a horrible modeler, so what kind of Switch stand am I going to make? Hmm, probably just this one. Just a generic. Although one of these might be fun. Although we don't have them around where I live, but it might be cool to have something different. At least to start out with. How did I make the hump yard? Uh, pain and suffering. That took way much too long. Um, okay. Well, like all the other streams, I get distracted really easy by answering questions like this, but it's fun answering these questions. Okay, so basically what happens is the cars go down the track, the, the hump hill, and then it gives the, um, the each car a uh, force, a velocity, Bob, just like how the engines do basically each car is turned into an engine and is pushed along the tracks until it either runs into a car or the end of the bold track which has a sensor basics of building a train game in roblox ah you place down track and then you place down the train and you drive the train that's the basic if you uh go to my channel you can see the other two live streams and we've basically been making this game from scratch the only things that i've done off camera are uh well these models are from my friends my dev buddies for row scale games these are just row scale models from another game it's plural uh and then standard just row scale out of the toolbox you know just grab one of these and then i literally just it wasn't this one it was the interlock it the the like the coal mine set or whatever just took the mp15 stuff threw it in this engine and all right yeah, the, 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 um, the videos are a little old. One thing, if you're sitting here before you click off and go look at them, uh, make sure to turn off streaming enabled. Currently, Roseguild does not work with that. Turn that off, and I would turn physics stepping method to fix. Other than that, do whatever. Okay, let's go back to making switch. Roseguild is a pretty good starting point for making train games because it's everything that you need is already made. Well, not everything you need. But the starting bits of it is all made. Already. Um, so we need tie parts. So we okay, let's anchor that and we need this to be wood. Now let's see if we can get a will this work? Sometimes this is a bit finicky. 
Might be better if I do like the rail color. Okay. Cause look how dark that is. I want it more of a brown, yeah. Um I can't remember if that UP site will tell you how big the ties are supposed to be, but I guess it'll be better if I just make it the size of this texture. And I'll just Because they're basically square. I know they're not totally square, but Something like that probably will do. And then lengthwise, they're probably like something like that. Although they stick out. So basically, what needs to happen is I gotta. Well, they go like this. Go like that. And then they gotta come out all the way out to the edge of this, probably. Yeah. And then just go like this. Let me move this over. I'll put that back. It scale up. Uh, ah. Oh, come on. No! Come on, tabs. Behave properly. And then Okay. I mean that looks alright. And then we need a piece of ballast. Right? A ballast part. Yeah, when you're getting started, just make something fantasy. Like it doesn't need to be anything real. That's what I did. I and then like maybe one location is based off something that you like, like a place you rail fan in person. That's what I did starting out with the A and G games. Is we just did whatever we felt like, and if it didn't look exactly like it did in real life, then it was fine because it was not exactly supposed to be real life anyways. So you like say with making trains, you don't have to make the engine and stuff real life engines you can make your own spin fantasy adaptation of it and then when someone tells you that the engine's wrong you say uh no it's not actually wrong because it's not a real engine i made it it's my engine so it's kind of a loophole but people will still give you complaints about anything just like the biggest thing that you can do when you're making content is to ignore everyone who's doubting you or uh telling you your stuff sucks well you take it you you acknowledge it and be like all right yeah I, yeah, it's not the greatest, but you don't let it rile you up. If it rallies you up, then you just give up. If you give up, you'll never be able to do anything. This is turning out to look a heck of a lot better than I thought it was. All right, uh, cool. Programmer does modeling. Yay. What is this jazz music? It's just some Spotify playlist is supposed to be copyright free. I'm skipping that, sorry. I don't like that. See if that's any better. Yeah, because like this project's part of freelance, like, um, kind of did the yard based off of Sharonville, Ohio, and then back there, that connection's kind of a mixture of a two different control points thrown together. It was kind of just like, eh, whatever. I think this will be fun, and we're gonna try it. <clears throat> you really, the biggest, it, hardest thing about making games is um is that and the same thing for me like i'm learning i want to do learn other things like learning a new game engine or something the hardest thing is that you want to go into it and you want to make this grand your your big dream project but you got to start small and the hardest part is finding something like starting small because all you want to like i said the only thing you want to work on is your dream thing or something that will help you with your dream thing and a lot of times the learning projects are very simple and everyone has done it before because they are simple but that's how you learn so it, it can be difficult that's for sure i still struggle with it unfortunately i don't want the, like this is my learning pro this is a learning project for myself right here what we're working on and part of the reason I'm streaming is motivation to keep working.
I think I might just like do a freelance switch stand. I don't know. Let's see. Because this isn't like based off of any one railroad or anything, so we can kind of like maybe make our own switch stand or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a big jazz person, but that song wasn't vibing with me. The best row scale game that I've personally made would probably be the newest one, which would be SRI Terminal, because it's the newest one. And I also, it's the longest project that I've ever worked on. Like, ANG games only lasted a few months. A and SRI Terminal lasted, it's still technically ongoing. I haven't touched it in a few days, but I updated it the other day, so it's fine. But, um, that's the longest project. The B movie. <laughs> And the SRI Terminal is technically just an experimenting project. That's what it was. It was uh, how SRI Terminal started was me just messing around. It was like, ah, oh, I clicked on a. No, I did not. Oh, wait. Sorry. Um, I was just like sitting around and I was like, you know what? I want to make uh, Glendale, Ohio in Roblox or whatever. Just mod it. Like, no reason. There wasn't a point of making a game. I was just doing it because I was bored. Started out, I was like, all right, let's get some AI trains or whatever. Put some AI trains in there and just watch them go by. And then it was all cool. And, it's, and then I made it like Wyoming or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then, you know what? I want to do this. And then it just went on from there. I want to drive the trains. So, okay, so we drive the trains and well done. So you just build on what you have. Just take things step by step. And build it for yourself. Especially when you're starting out, build for yourself, not others. And then if other people like it, good for them. If other people don't like it, you can listen to their feedback and maybe change it and maybe you'll like it better. Or you can just keep going. So, yeah, just make it for yourself. And and if your ideas vibe with others and you do it right, then other people will follow you. I almost feel like I want to make one of these switch stands. One of these. The standard, like switch stand at a lot of other places whereas around here we only we have a crap ton of these which is the modern one i think well not exactly that but based that kind of design i think it's the modern one because you don't it has the big long lever people are messaging me oh Yeah, like, A and G, I mean, the games aren't terrible, I just, the problem is, <clears throat> all these projects work is that I work on what I want to work on, and I don't, and I personally don't, I'm not a big fan of the A and G games anymore, I mean, they're fine for what they are, but I'm, they're not my favorite thing, which kind of happens, you work on something, you're like, oh, I'm better, I learned stuff, and now this is bad, so I want to make something better, and you just keep moving on, so A and G's kind of dead, I mean, I might make, add something at some point, but it's really not my concern. Like, personally, I couldn't care less if the games um, were shut, closed off, and never touched again. But, there's no point in closing them off, because people like playing them still, or going back and playing, so. Because A&G, with some of my friends and I, that used to be the game, like Green Ash, that used to be the game to play. The game night, we're doing ops, you know? And then it was SRI Terminal, and SRI Terminal's been calling, kind of falling off, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna mess with this and see how this goes. And then, of course, Rare Rover came out before I started messing with this. And Rare Rover is like, ha ha! Fun game. Uh... Yeah, and if you've been doing F3X on A and G, the studio tools aren't much different. You can even get F3X as a plugin and use F3X in studio if you really, really want to use F3X. I recommend using the studio tools, but if you want to use F3X, go for it. And at least studio, it saves. So you can keep working. Hmm. 
All right, let's go back to this switch stand. How are these? These plates aren't as wide. These are really small. I'm not going to make it exactly because rounded edges are just kind of pointless. Not necessary. Damn, this is a really small switch. I don't have any measurements. Darn, I was in Sharonville today. I tried recording the switch, one of the switch heaters because it's cold out and the switch heaters are doing their, their thing, but the wind was too loud after listening to recording and can't really use it for a game or anything, unfortunately. And this just has to look good, so... Although... Thinking about this, let's get a character in here. Plugins, uh, rig. Where'd the rig thing go? No. Where'd it go? I don't see it. I don't want the ra avatar and cancel. Oh, it's Avatar. It's in here. Oh, uh, Rig Builder. Trying to use the reference here so I know how big this is. Oh, I wonder if we can uh, do a rotate like this. Rotate down like that. Bring it in. And then just go like that. Ooh, that, that doesn't look terrible. I'm kind of freelancing this because I'm not... Uh, nothing's expanded off camera. We have drivable trains because I threw road scale on it. Other than that, not much. We're doing switch stands here so we then can control the switch while playing the game and then we can actually do quasi ops and then I'll, the next thing expansion wise will probably be putting some industries in somewhere let's get back to this here uh let's see let's see let's see okay we need a, a part here we need a block and we'll go ahead and put it in the same position as this and just go like I mean, Rose Scale is just the same. I mean, I did full scale stuff before Rose Scale too. That's kind of what helped me become like the make the Rose Scale games that I have. Like, oh, that guy makes such great Rose Scale games because I've been on Roblox since like 2013 or something like that. Now, and I when I when Rose Scale came out, that was like right. I had learned just enough. I knew just enough about Studio and messing with scripts, just enough. To be able to do something with it like decently so um don't worry it's not gonna look like this it's not that bad. Uh, damn damn So yeah, I kind of was lucky there. Do I want to do that? Do I want to? Okay, we'll try it. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, uh. I'd rather not use so many parts. But... Ooh, it might look better if I, uh, right, maybe like this. So yeah, it's rose scale. I was at the right place at the right time. At least that's my opinion. Um, 
how long is this bit? Um, it's uh, 0.05. Okay. Huh? Now, what angle is this piece? 25. like that there we go yes there'll be all the funnies eventually assuming this project goes anywhere what does this look like in person because <clears throat> I'm gonna make it so you have to walk out to Oh, that's so small. Look how small that is. That, no, that, no. What? Oh. Oh, okay. No, I don't want that piece of ballast. Well, we probably should save a copy of this. Wait. Oh, it's not... Oh, I didn't select it. No. Well, should be able to just... Kind of interesting that that did not... No, I'm not a jazz person, or whatever this is. Keep moving. Yeah. That's still so small. Let's see what the toolbox got. Just for reference. Ah. Narrow gauge switch pen, okay. I like how big that is. 
Well, I mean, aren't you supposed to bend? Yeah, you have to bend down and grab these. Probably could angle this whole thing more. This, this even? Yeah. Why are you? Hmm, interesting. There we go. Now it's a nice little hitbox. <coughs> Let's see. That's believable in my opinion. Okay, we need to switch like black now. Well, that's not centered anymore. Is it? Oh, it is. Oh, Z, uh, come on. No. Z. Position Z. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why people want to hit. We had a discussion, I think, on the first stream about this. Like, I don't vibe with the whole ragdolling after getting hit by the train. Like, you're just making these kids want to get hit by trains. It's like, no, you have to think... You're, you, R.E.S. You're one of the biggest train games on Roops on Roblox. No, you gotta think about the impact you're having on people. Unfortunately, that's just how things go. I would love to have a game, not love, but you know, where you can just do whatever and have fun and do it. Judging by how many questions I get from people being like, how do I turn the locomotives on on SRI Terminal? When there's a tutorial screen telling you how to turn the locomotives on at the beginning, whenever you join the game, is a very telling on what kind of people play these games. I would just no, you can't mis assume because SRI Terminals, at least SRI Terminals maturity level or age group should really be way higher than RES's because of how complex and also the fact that the game needs a pretty substantial machine to run it should be the older people the t at least a minimum teenager unless they're a spoiled little child who gets parents who gives them a big ass computer and it's like you really shouldn't be on the internet but whatever that's up to the parents but um 
res is a lot more simple well, now the new one i haven't played the new one with all the fancy features and stuff now that that could be okay I, now that i'm thinking about it yeah okay you could say it's more mature but that too that too that the roblox age statistics will lie to you too easy it's kind of funny the age statistics for the uh, easier to play um shack games the shack games like the holly the uh, warehouse and all that those age ratings like the people like the age ratings that are reported by roblox are older kids or older people than sri terminal more than 50 percent of the players of sri terminal are under 13 on roblox Academy. at least that's what the stat was like three months ago i haven't checked yeah they have to find five i mean let's be honest the people who are playing res you just have to go to their mother and be like, Mommy, 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 please, Robux. Please, Robux. I need the Robux so I can drive in a straight line. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that game, but still. I'm like, drive, drive. That's what, that's what some of us call those games, like the NEC and all that. Drive in a straight line. Like, oh, but you can stop for passengers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive in a straight line. That too. Or you, you can be a businessman. It's just sell t shirts. All right, uh, we need a, uh, let's make the five. We're talking about juice. That's kind of half the fun of these live streams, honestly. Let's just sitting here talking. Let's uh, make this a little bit more of a... Uh, let's see. Most of these are round. I like circle. Oh, I'm gonna pull up the pictures of uh, what I took in Sharonville today. Not that I really took pictures of Switch Dance, although I'm too slow. There's so many of these photos. Like, yeah, we need like there. Oh, they are circles. Those NS ones are just circles. That's through 76 of Sharonville. Earlier today, it was like 4 o'clock, 4.30 or something like that. Yeah, these are, I think I'm just going to do a circle and a stand. That works. It's super simple. Yeah, is that Roblox and RTX? Yeah, and it's also cold. In order to play it, you got this time of year, you have to sit there with your room at uh, 29 degrees. Put it up like there. Wait, how are- oh sh- Yeah, they're thin pieces on a pole, like that, okay. Which the pole sticks up through it. Gonna get the rough outline here. That looks so dumb. I think this pole here is too sick. Oh, ooh. zero point. No, oh, zero point zero one. Oh, but then look how big the stand is. Yeah, something like that. I think these just need to be thicker. Yeah, that will help tremendously. Honestly, they probably could go down lower. This probably still could go thinner.
Oh, that looks so dumb. Does it look better with a yellow? Ooh. Like the crossings? No, I'm not gonna animate them. Well, they'll have they'll they'll move, but not like move move. Way too much. It's too much effort. Well, it's not too much effort. It's just that there's no there's no point when you're gonna have hundreds of these. You don't need to animate. That's so small. Ugh. We need to scale this whole switch monitor thing up. Oh god, it's so big. That looks so dumb. Ugh. Honestly, I might just go and take a switch from a real, but other, a free model. I still don't like it. Official from Space Game. No, I don't like. Eh. Honestly, these could work for now. I mean, these things really aren't that big. See the green. Let's do a lighter color green. More contrast with the environment. Yeah, you see green there on the switch stand. Like, and then you can see that. I think that will work for now. Duplicate this and rotate it by the axis that is roughly there. Oh, it's reversed. Oh, I know what's going on. Okay, we have to do this. gonna do it the way I'm wanting to do it we have to do it like this um, that's normal and that's reverse
What? Okay, it won't let me. Okay, it doesn't like that. I knew that. Alright, well, we'll try it in operation, and if we don't like it, we can always sort of push, push it out. Let's see, is there any... we can look up, hold on. No copy... oh, copyright free rock music playlist. Oh no, it's got explicit on it. Oh. No, do that. How good is this? It's called copyright free... Oh, it's lo-fi, no, 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 it's not wrong. Why do these all have explicit? Can I disable explicit in first Oh wait, if I do that it's gonna... Oh, yeah. Uh... Oh, the preview wasn't even working anyway. Um... Settings, explicit content, no, turn that off, there we go, perfect, and then we can play the playlist, because it'll skip the bad one. This doesn't sound like rock! This one better? Is this what you wanted? <coughs> oh, right, okay. It's, uh... Now I gotta look up, uh... CTC. I don't have any pictures of the CTC. No, 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 not that. There it is, that. Can I just look up CTC split? It's not. Nope. Oh, ah, uh, oopsie. Be for Gorda. Well, the easiest way to do is just to... Yeah, you could drift it there. Is there a better picture of us? CTC switch machine. Haha! <laughs> I look up a railroad CTC switch and railroad a huge railroad or YouTube video pops up on how to use the dispatcher board. No, that's I look up machine to clarify and it gives me the dispatcher's board. No, I want the actual switch more. Thank you. That's an Ethernet switch. <laughs> I want these. 
never stop and think of taking pictures of these things though. I know I have photos of them, I just don't know where to find them. Wait, do I have a photo of them? Uh, Cincinnati, no, it's on the Toledo. Is there any pictures of them saved in this Discord server? That's overpacked. Because it's weird, sacred. Is there any Wyoming pictures of... No, 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 no. Do any of these have happen to have? Main district, no, no, Ooh, yes! Yes! Oh, yeah. There we go, it's 248. That's Sharonville right there. Oh, this is not my photo, by the way. I did not take this photo. I just have access to said photo. That's someone took by doing things. Oh, but that doesn't help me because it's still the side of it. What? The end of it. Okay. Alright, this is probably the best photo we've got. Which is basically just a brick. We're gonna make a brick. With two sides to it. Kind of our own CTC switch here. <coughs> I've seen some of these with like bars on them. So you can hand throw them. Nice. It's always good to have more rose scale things. Especially if they're more op space. Let me tell you, if you guys ever make an op space game, leave it open. To the public to use and use a private server or something for your private group because then people can play it and you can make money if someone has premium you don't even need game pass if someone just needs a premium subscription and you get paid robux just by them playing the game there's no point in closing your game and plus it'll help bring in people who want to do your op because they can play the game and be like, hey, I want to run trains as a group. And there's plenty of op groups. I'm like, well, their trains are cool, okay, but I don't want to do the time and effort to join their op group and do all that fun business because I don't know what the game's like. And I'm not going to spend all this time to join their op group if I don't like the game. This one's falling. Kind of just basing it off the real ones. Ooh, this might be bigger. So this could be bigger. It's kind of looking. <laughs> it looks like the Stanley Cup. <laughs> Look how small that is. That is not how small they are. Guaranteed. They kind of do just like hang off, don't they? Maybe they're not so tall though. Each one of these are different. Oh 
all we've gotten. <laughs> I never noticed those channels on this Discord server. The reference pictures. Automatic. If you're referring to the switches flipping by triggers when the train, like the, if it's reversed, so it's lined for this correction, the train comes this way, it flips. I'm not planning on doing that. I mean, it's coded so you can have it. I could have it, but I'm not doing that. Uh, nothing really, but if you uh, listen to the playback, because um, my channel is not monetized or anything, if you listen to the playback, then it will mute my voice and all the sounds and stuff. So it's kind of, I don't want that. And some of these are somewhat copyrighted. It's just that any money that this YouTube video would make goes to the people making the music. Yeah, that's, that's what this is for. There will be this part. And we'll be making that, we should be making that on camera. So we'll also do that. And not tonight, probably. But. That looks so weird. I mean, there's this one. It's really, like, flat. Kind of like that, maybe? It's kind of, well, this one's like bigger, and then it's like that, and then these are really. I don't like how this is going. No. You know, the ones in SRI Terminal are just a part. They're just like this. It's just a part, and then it's this. Oops. You know, you get the idea. It's like this. That's what they are. So basic. I might end up just doing it. Um, let's restart this. Let's restart. Let's restart. Any better photos? Let me scroll through on YouTube. No, I don't think. Uh, maybe you did with your rocket. I don't know. Ooh, what if I look up HO's HO scale CPT switch? Nope. Aha. Yeah, that's expensive. But uh, I can go to the website and look at there. Oh, it's got it's a 3D modeling website and I can I can't zoom in, but I can. Rotate around it. Although it's a really weird rotate. Okay. It's kind of like a box. Um, the question is which way does it go? We'll go like this. Kind of like little lengthy boxes. Just a uh, smaller.
and then it's kind of hard. <laughs> Dumb idea, no, 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 that, that's the good idea. Because then I can code actual airline, like, air pressures inside the cars. So when your friend is an arse and comes up and disconnects your train while you're running it, then it will go into emergency. And then you can call the railroad police and they can show up in their police cars and go, Woo, 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 get underground, you pesky scum. <laughs> Then we'll have the greatest ops community in the world where everyone just arrests each other for no reason. What does this look like? Honestly, it looks funky. Oh, we need the clips on the side. That's what we need. Doesn't look terrible. Kind of doesn't look like I'm a switch machine anymore. Oh, that's uh, no, not the switch. I want the switch stand. CTC. If we put little latches, that will help it look like it's a box. Like if I just go down a little bit, yeah. This is blender you kid. Wait a minute, can I just go up uh switch machine 3D model? Can I just look up a 3D model it and download a 3D model? Because sometimes you can't. Oh, this is no play. Oh there's look mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you got a 3D printer and you do like HS go trains and stuff or end scale you can find some pretty intriguing stuff on the internet just download them like i found uh, like crossing cabinets and stuff like signal boxes <coughs> some of them you have to pay a lot of them you have to pay for it. some of them are decent and they're free okay no let's just go back to looking what we were looking at which it does have a box on the other end on this 3d model does like have a little pokey thing. At the bottom? Oh, uh, it's like in the middle here. Eh, thing is, is that it's gonna cause shadows that are really small. You too. Nah. You probably can become a bit small.
Alright, let me drag. Oh, hi. Right. Oh, it's just like. You gotta pay for your time in the game. What if I add these bits on the other side as well? There, I think that will work. There. Turn off shadows for all of these, even though it's all gonna be union. Let's do the same thing to this. How tall are these? Zero one. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Mm. Oh, I see. Basically, this piece is like kind of like that. Let's see what that looks like walking around. Eventually I would like to make a game where you have to build everything from scratch. I think a game like Railroader, but you have to build like the um, industries yourself. Like not industries, um, if you play railroads online where the industries are around and you have to build your railroad to them. I think it'd be good to mix railroader and railroad online kind of sort of like the industries and how track building and all that stuff works but then like have random seeds so then the industries and even the map terrain is randomly generated 
they procedurally generated. That, that would be, and then being able to drive around like S Ride Terminal or this game, and then being able to drive around too on pre place risk. That's peak railroad game. Yeah, railroads online trying to stay online. <laughs> Honestly, I almost feel like this whole entire machine here could get be bigger. Just because it feels small. Let's do a few tabs up right there. That means this has to be moved. Okay. Yeah, but cutting down trees should cost you a minute, like, money, too. Like, rare is online, like, building costs you, like, no money. It's like, building needs to cost you money, so you build efficient routes. Because you need to make it so... The biggest thing about Railroader is that the replayability isn't there right now. Because, like, everyone plays the same exact map in the same exact industries, and it's pretty much the same. It's just a question of what industry, what contracts do you have for what industry, and how many... What locomotives do you buy when and where, and what cars. There's not enough variance. So everyone's got the same thing. Once mods and stuff come out. Sure. Well, I'm happy with that for now. I don't want to spend here. I don't want to spend 10 hours making a switch things. We probably should. Hmm. Oh, wait. I forgot the union always saying it all. Can I union? I can. I have it cast a shadow, but yeah, render fidelity, and then... Yeah, exactly. You can have this. He's kind of like uh, Transport Fever. Play like Transport Fever 1 or 2. They have the settings for the map terrains and stuff. Whether you want it to be uh, like hilly terrain on like lots of industries or low amount of industries or low amount of cities. We got all those settings and every world's basically different. And then you have a seed name so if you want people to share the same world stuff then what it being by boom but... And then this thing, you just light it up, basically. Um, just, okay. Ooh, I gotta figure out how to... Something like that, I think? Oh, boy. Hold up, we forgot to add, like, a click block or something. Oopsie daisy. Alright, we need a part that's in these things that lets us click, um, switch machine, switch machine. It should be on the side here. Actually, wait, with this thing, it's just this. Alright, uh, we're gonna do proximity prompt. Proximity prompt. Um, what button should we do to throw the switch? E? I normally do E. 
Oh, that's a gamepad. Um, yeah, E. Okay, E's just. Damn, the stupid new you are. You know what? It's, you know what? it's gonna be easier. Let's let's do a part, an invisible part here. Why isn't it showing it? Oh, it's because it has to be in it. I know why it's not showing it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And since I name these properly, And then which in an op situation the CTC switch machines would just be locked or can be locked. You know, before I go copying, you know, let's let's throw it into one of these switches and, and test it. We have to recode the switches too. Well, not recode, but add code to the switches, and then we we'll paste that into there at original location. And to keep things modeled, we're gonna go like this. Open. All done. Well, I could write a script to replace them all, but then that means I have to write his code to do. There's a lot of switches that I've just unlocked. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um,. That will help that. Um, local switch. Oh, let's do this. We don't even need to do that other than this. I don't think. Copy that.
for pasting over these. And then we'll make a global script. This might help the game wise. Rocks, frog, and a global. Um, and then it's prox. I have to remember how to. Um, Rubla, frog, so many frog. There's a service that you have to get. Yes, there we go. Proximity problems will take us off the dev form. Let's see. We want a parent, a parent, find first child. In case we do it both ways, switch script. Then else if I'll just add another parent in here. Is there a, uh... What happens if, uh... Right, if it doesn't have the attribute? Nil. Yeah, whatever. Does this work? Boom. For some reason, and Studio Roblox does this stupid editor thing. There it goes. That's the one that. Still a really small, but whatever. Yeah, I really should have uh, <clears throat> added these things. Before I did all these switches, but whatever. Nice thing for these are just copy and paste basic. Maybe be better to put it over here. Yeah, I think so.
And then the cool thing about them actually not being exactly the same spot is that it definitely seems well, like it's a real thing probably because the tie spacing is ever so slightly different. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have to figure out a sound later, though. Unfortunately. <clears throat> Not doing sound engineering tonight. I don't got a switch stand through. I'm sure I can find one. But we'll worry about it later. It should be a relatively easy thing to do. So I can just search up the interact button thing since I have the switch interact. I just look at that search filter by that, add sound to all of them, and then just change the global code to throw that sound whenever it throws it. Alright, we just need to do that ladder, that ladder, and then all the hand throws so far are done, and then we just have to do all the PTC switch machines. The new update? What do you mean new update? Oh, I'll publish, I'll publish this whenever I'm done with it tonight. If you're talking about this, this is an SRI terminal or any game that exists. This is really different. But yeah, updates tend to drop when the when it's done. I mean, that's kind of how it works. Yeah, I mean, when we feel like it's done enough, an update's done enough to update, then we update, I mean, it's kind of how it goes. We don't really sit there and be like, oh, they can wait. I mean, sometimes sometimes the bigger updates, the bigger updates, I'll wait for like a weekend, like a Friday or something like that, just because people will be like, oh, but... It also has issues because then you drop it and everyone wants to play and then it's a broken update and then everyone's like, it's broken, you arsehole. Sometimes they're updated, like the game updates at one o'clock in the morning and sometimes it updates at... The nice thing is that I code it in a certain way that we can I have multiple switch stands for one switch if you wanted. Not a head. Alright, flaps all these. I think the yard's all good. I need to add a run script to it. Oh, hold on. Let's save these off to the side. Or forget to. <laughs> Even if they end up being older models. There will be speed limits eventually, but <laughs> we gotta get there first, my boy. Hey, where did those pictures go? Wait, why are they in Newcastle? Technically, that's a danger. Whatever. 
Okay, this is the crossover switch machines are in the middle. All right. But right now the crossovers are two separate switches, so you have to watch out for that. Lined up anymore. Sad. Always fun when Roblox Studio lags. Right as you do something, like turn the camera, and you're like, "Where'd I go?" Okay. On to these switches. sure how long I want to be streaming tonight might start on some crossings at least setting them up not like code lines but like putting them down I don't think I'm gonna get to coding them for a while but at least have them standing guard The, any like the, how this game is gonna work is that the lines can be whatever you want them to be but in my mind at least at the moment like blind the single track over the diamond is Norfolk Southern but I'm setting it up in the way that at least the basic I'm not gonna there'll be more trains than just NSC this that makes any sense. why did it select that what all right those are the only switches set up I really don't want to. Maybe we can just reuse one of these switches. Hold on. No, that's uh, on you. All right. These are not as these are less sharp than this original track. If it lines up properly. Oh. That would be nice because I don't have to worry about. Oof. I 
nice thing is that I can kind of actually... No. that I can do this, probably. Yeah, because then I, I have that middle piece that I put in. I can just edit... No, no. I can just edit the middle piece. Yeah. We are rough. Oh, I did not want to ungroup that yet. Alright, let me get rid of that. Bam, bam. I don't think I, I think I deleted part of this curve, but it should be fine. Yay, and then if this switch is in here, then that means everything in the game is operational. Yay, and I didn't have to build another switch. That's nice. Alright, and then this just gets to come this way. Since you're uh, extremely wrong. I don't understand why. And then a mile from the signals, which would be like right in there. Go like that. That lines for how long the sliding is. Um. I guess it's time to play here. Cool. See if I can find the shift uh, run script. The script I used to use. I always use. Yay, it's the one for Master Eye Time. Uh, you see, you just look it up on the same box. Right. Uh, I can't remember where it goes. Is it going here? Um, <laughs> yeah. Nice, high pauses. And then we get the current player. Run speed, which I increase. It's just 16. Or why not? 35. It's way too fast, honestly, but whatever. It 
will help. Send it to publish. And then we can play the game. In which uh, it should be set so that anyone in the Roblox group can play. Links in the Discord server. Hi, Eva. Yeah, there's, there's the spawn point at each end, so... So that means we can grab train. There's no seats, though. And then obviously the numbers don't update. Actually, no, they do. Duh, because it's a roast game. It was a roast game model. Too. And then the sounds are just remodeled. I mean, uh, eventually I want to make it so you can just walk up these things. Just watching the trains, just taking row scale and copy and pasting the stuff into it. We have operational trains, even though it's very basic. I wish the bell and prime air sounds are found in the toolbox somewhere. I just looked up EMD sound or whatever, <laughs> it just came up with all those things. None of the train horns sounded decent, so anyway. In a quick Google shoot. In a quick Roblox connection. Oh, it's is it leaning again. Can't remember. Are these cars? Can you jump on the cars? You can't. Bro. Thing I should flip, replicated storage. Stop Lucas and relinquish, please. Thank you. <clears throat> we should have driven ahead so we could put the switches. Go 100% throttle. It's definitely going to take a hot second in order to get uh, to your destination, especially at truck speed. And now we're basically, now we're officially on the main. Honestly, the machines look small, but whatever. <coughs> I think the ties might be too small. Not sure. But oh well, let's be playing around game. Go 
If you want to get this open, you can press Shift F5 on, like Shift Function 5. Okay, you can see your network, your render, your physics, your overall FPS. Works in any Roblox game. Uh, any Roblox game. We gotta slow down because we're gonna cross over and get our first train on that other track and test it out. Ooh, we, then we can have a train and we can back up over the diamond even though the track doesn't go that far. Well, the run worked. Ooh, it's really bouncy. Oh my. Why are you really bouncy? Why are you bouncy all of a sudden? Honestly, from compared to real life, it's probably sharp. Oh so well. This doesn't look terrible. Well, it works going straight. We're just gonna derail it, I think, off there. See what happens. You're not moving? Are you stuck? Hey, to be honest, I've never actually tried going backwards too much of these things. <laughs> Is it really stuck? What's it stuck on? Can we get the car over that? No, we can't get the car over that. Okay. 
Oh man, look how bad that is. Mis is this misaligned? You are misaligned. I know what it is. Is that diamond still aligned or is it? That that track's fine. That is aligned. Went that for some reason. L. Alright, um. One point one six five, is that what it was? No, it's three point one six, is that what it was? No. What was it? Five point three one What was it? What was the gap between the rails? Fourteen feet uh, fourteen to see him. I was 15.0. What? No. Uh oh. That's not right. Oh well. Whatever my calculation is. Right. One thing I want to work on is more road, I think. figure out how these roads connect. Actually that road's gonna end up coming into here, isn't it? We could do some crazy stuff and do a curved sighting here. But...
actually. We're gonna... Does it fit? It's not gonna fit. There we go. Oh yeah, like, have you played SRI Terminal before? It lagged. A lot. Granted, there's... I can show you uh, a save with friends and stuff. We have over a thousand trains on the map. <laughs> That's definitely what I like. 
Now that's the downfall with the roads these here is that this definitely uses more parts than the part the roads than SR Terminal. One thing that can help is using just texture ties. Yeah. But still, it definitely could be better. That's for sure. Um, part of it's the shadows. <clears throat> that lags. Fun people making crossings. Um, yeah, I might as well make start making crossing here. A wedge. What the? Why is the wedge like that? Okay. Uh, turn off shadows. We don't need shadows on the wedge. Although the crossings might actually end up having it. Mm, that doesn't line up. Well, that's Wait, why? No, let's not use wedges. What we do is we go like this. We take the road. Right at it, basically. And what I was doing with SRI Terminal is you kind of do it by where the ties are, but I'll do it a little before we to this. And then, yeah. And I'll worry about the lines later. Pick a degree. Like, this could be much better. The roads could also just be hot. Just pick four so that we don't have to. Uh, we'll fill in the bottom bit so you can kind of just Yeah, let's And the question is, does the train jump over it? Respond over here instead of trying to reset with this driver. It would definitely be faster to try and reset. But we'll give it an excuse to drive over. Oh, well, this does have direction. Oh, sh oh, we almost died for this. <laughs> kind of a nice car. We did pay robots for these things. <laughs> there was a bit where Tyler and I went on a rampage and spent like 50,000 plus robux. <laughs> Not, yeah, maybe. On emergency vehicles and emergency like roleplay maps and stuff. It was terrible. We never did anything with it. We just have a whole catalog, especially like this, so this is one of them. Came out of time. Some of them are nice and some of them are pretty in there. This is a good video. 
kind of like a dwarf. Kind of like a subdivision or something. In here. Rows are a little tight, like those 90 degrees. So much easier to do. It's not that bad. It's I mean, you just slow down to 15 miles an hour. It's a realistic speed to do a turn like that. All right, let's go grab the thing. Ooh, don't die. Let's make sure it doesn't, because we're gonna have to mess with collision groups, I think, for that report. What engine is this today? Oh, this is 42. Did you just sail right over? Oh wow, it is just sailing right over. I think there's gonna be closure which will be changed for that later, later on the road. If I can get away with it, this will totally be more of a roleplay game, although the roleplay would be more of a train roleplay, but like fire rescue. Although the fire trucks and stuff are made of so many parts and stuff, those things will have, but we'll see. I have some tricks to make the game not lag so much, at least I don't think it makes the game lag so much with the train wise from SRA Terminal. But I, I mean, I don't work on other games so I don't know how they do it. Kind of pretty ingenious, so you can have thousands of trains on the map and still... Is the metal okay? And I still have to make my own drive system. the trains and, and then these cars can be cleaned up like these emergency lighting things horrible coded. like head even just normal headlights like i've gone through and I'm like what the heck is this litmus code Because then, you could have someone get hit by the train, as we have, if you've seen the past live streams, you can get hit by the train. But, you got, you have the police car, and deal with it, you know? And the police can be actual players. And then I can make, like, AI calls, so that police, when people aren't doing any, like, there's no civilian or whatever, they can have calls and stuff, like, robberies and... Let's see if the backing up issue is fixed. Let's back up the uh, other main. <coughs> like this, like this car works without the engine being on. I know how to fix. It. Thing. Hang out, they got it. I'm surprised so many cars are like that with these cars. It's like it's such it's just a button. You don't have to code anything. I don't think. Maybe you have to have a script. But it's like he's a button. 
for change of word. If you have to open a code up, then you just click change of word on like one of the first lines. And you're like from true to false. And that's it. You could even have like events, like we could have like these smaller towns or whatever, have like marathons or something. Like, or 5Ks or 3K, 2Ks and the police have to sit there and shut down all the roads to keep people from driving. And then the train comes through and... Blogs it all off. Oh my, yeah, it's 11.30. Mm, I'll probably be ending here soon, kind of just playing with the trains. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just close out a studio actually. Um... If you're in our Discord, uh, where these streams are posted, you can the games right there if you want to play it. You have to be in part of the group, but that's free. You just click join. Can we beat the car? Oh. Uh, No, we're not gonna win it, are we? No, I'll stay on there. Oh no, no, no! Oh, oh we got hit by the train. Forward. Uh, Wait, we gotta have the train go down there and then hit us real hard. We're gonna. Ooh, we can recurate the scene where that guy was put in the police car and got whacked. Hold on. This is, how we're gonna, this is how we end the stream off. We're gonna get hit by the train and die. Yeah, we just put the car here, park it. That's one thing I've noticed on these this this van after putting it in here. The front bar doesn't light up half the time. All right, full speed. What it's set. They were hanging out over here, right? Yeah. Let's see what happens to that car. And the train. Because theoretically we could have semi yeah, we could have semi trucks too and do truck deliveries. <laughs> Imagine picking up from like Tropicana distribution centers or stuff like that, lumber companies. Oh, oh! He made pretend there was an engine or something protecting the show. Emergency. That worked way better than I was expecting it to. And we could have a detect like uh, the couplers detect when it hits a car and makes a crunching sound, so it's like <laughs> And then of course I have the train brake sounds. Oh that's gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna send a screenshot to the dev boys. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here. Time for watch, and it is 11.30. Um, I doubt I'll stream tomorrow, but... Um... And not sure. I think there might be a break during the week, most of the week too. So, but uh, thanks for watching. If you want to mess around with whatever what this is, there's not much in here. But yeah, if you want to, the game's there. So have fun. Yeah, not kind. <laughs>